you still wish I could have carried on playing for England because I'd love to, I'd love to have played for 10 years or 12 years or whatever it would have been. And that's obviously then been explained in many other areas. People talk about the anxiety, the depression and, and things that you do. That's, I guess that's part of your makeup that, you know, they talk about the curse of the strong um, as a, in the depression sort of side of things. Well, I, I don't know whether I'm strong enough to, to be warranted that sort of statement, but you know, you just want, you want perfection all the time. I think looking back on it, that's what probably I'll be remembered for more than anything else, because it affects everybody. Isn't it? So, the, the, the wider community who, who struggle with mental health is massive. During my time, obviously playing cricket, you know, I've had to use various things that the Benevolent Fund can put on. They funded all the all the counselling and, and and therapy that I needed to take back in sort of 2006 when I first came back. So they they invested the time we you know in me to try and get me back uh, back well again. Well, of, of course, they're everything, aren't they? They are um, the pivotal part in everything that has done has happened for me. Obviously, tough times along the way, and their support and them being there with me is part of the process of making me better. Because you know they're just there to help me, there to guide me, there to to love me, and to. Uh, make everything okay, you know, that's that's the, the beauty of of them being around and you know That's all that's the only place I ever want to be especially when I'm when I'm poorly. I Sort of grew up with a, a family that were very close to cricket So, you know every week every day in the summer would be cricket 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 So we were very close in the fact that we spent a lot of time together at cricket clubs Either watching dad play or watching me play I've been blessed with that fact that I'm, I still want that feeling. You know, practice today, preparation, everything you do. You know, it's part of my life. That's, that club is part of my life. And I don't see it changing even once I finish it because it's just such a special, easy place for me to be around. So that my kids are the same thing. They, I want them to feel special when they go down there and appreciate the history that I've put into the club so that they've experienced when they were kids from the inside and just know what a, a great place it's been because it's been so brilliant for me, it would be so special for them as well. He's a county treasure, for sure. Yeah, of course he is. A treasure is somebody that you regard as um, precious, unique, um, something that you cherish and, and I think, if, you know, that's how it, a good supporter should feel about having Marcus as our opening bat and all the things he's, he is for Somerset. Playing for 26 years, I guess so, yeah, I think you see most people um, that get an opportunity to play for a long period of time. Not many go on to make um, two testimonials. I'm not sure I'm going to get a third testimonial, put it that way. <laughs> that would be a good effort if I'm here at 52 and still sort of banging on the door saying, you know, come and help me again. I go down there every day and do my job and practice and blood, sweat and tears as you do, but nice to think that it'd be remembered in certain ways. Yeah.